This video has highly sensitive content. Please proceed at your own discretion. Richard Carrillo was a man of Peruvian origins who along with his family moved to Venezuela. His craft was artisanal clay, an art that was passed down through generations of his family. During the same exact time period between the years 2000 to 2006, a serial killer and rapist had been striking local communities. A total of 25 students had already been murdered and attacked, and the police were desperately searching for the maniac. On November 25th of 2006, Richard Carrillo's community was being scouted by police. Inside of the police van were three women who were raped by the fugitive and were out patrolling the area looking for the attacker. This obviously caused a commotion and soon enough a huge crowd seeking answers gathered around the police. Richard approached the police when suddenly one of these women pointed at him which led to his arrest. On his court date, the innocent man was presented as a sinister maniac, as one of the worst criminals in Venezuelan history. And on top of that, local police planted false evidence against Richard just to be able to bring peace to the community. One of these was a supposed weapon he carried at the time of his arrest, something which was completely false. Richard's close friends, family members, and neighbors all testified that he was a good man, but the court ruled against this. Richard Carrillo was sentenced and locked in prison. The poor man would never live to prove his innocence. Just a few days later, he was brutally raped and tortured in prison. By the time police found his body, Richard's stomach was cut open with his guts spread all over the prison cell. There was also a knife found in his rectum. As if things couldn't get any worse, the men responsible for the horrendous act captured everything in video. In the footage, the men can be heard talking amongst each other about how it was all done in the name of justice. He is seen being overpowered by several men, repeatedly raped and stabbed. The man tries to fight back, but he keeps slipping over his own blood. The poor man's suffering and pain is absolutely heartbreaking. About a month after his death, police began discovering more bodies with the same exact modus operandi as a serial killer, which meant that Richard was innocent. His family spent many years trying to clear up the name of their beloved relative. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel for more similar content. Add me on Facebook and Twitter with the tag at Gloomy House. There I will be able to answer all of your questions.